You play all the sorties, so you can play them all at a pretty decent level. All right, here we go. So we got Joker versus Donkey Kong, like you said, one of his better characters. And this, you know, any matchup going up against Joker right now, this is all to be written down and studied because we don't really know too much about uh, Joker's matchup, seeing as he is brand new. That's right. I mean, just the the thirst of knowledge around this character is so real. You can just see, like, pretty much all the streamers bringing him up, trying to oh, do yeah. as much content with this character as possible. Exactly. We're just trying to get those clicks, man. But all right, we got this uh, confirmed grab into back air right there. Going to make this an even game straight away. And edge guard situation, nice re-grab. Mm -hmm. Just really getting the ledge, or the, whew, the ledge traps. You said it, man. He, he seems like he sort of trapped on the ledge here, but uh, ill-timed uh, ledge trump going to get him punished and knocked off to the left side. Well, good B reversal, just keeping him away from the side B of uh, Joker. Oh, and my man coming down with the gun. Downward Glock, as they say. <laughs> oh, the down air. Can follow that up with an up air. Fairly easy to connect. All right, he's going to work his way back onto the stage here. Coming with the down air into a forward air. Knocking him off to the right side, and now it's his turn for the edge guard. Oh, perfectly timed right there. Dropping off from the ledge to get a back air. Yeah, Seal that, that first stock. That back air is so strong. It's actually pretty similar to Lucina's back air. Just the way that you would use it in the timing. Right. Definitely. All right. Oh, we tried to get that grab right there, but DK going to retreat to the ledge and just come on aggressive. Oh, try to get the command grab from the standing up B, but going to get traded. And now we see Les Traps coming out from Nico again, trying to... Uh, Cat's landing with, uh, with the gun. Mm -hmm. And now finally getting this grab right here. Going to work him up to the top. Oh, he wants to get that uh, re-grab combo into something here. Yeah, he's trying to reset onto Shine. I'd like to see it. Oh, he waited so long and dipped like right down into exactly where Joker was going to have to recover to and made sure he got the hit to uh, finally close out that first stock. Mm -hmm, but we see the <laughs> empty hop and to nothing. Just platform dropped. Yeah, I like that. He just kind of ran against the shield waiting for him to drop or try to go for an attack something. But uh, yeah, just going to retreat back down. And now we got this left side edge guard situation going on. Mm -hmm, rolling behind Joker. And now Shine able to get a couple of back airs. Yeah, right. make it, making this matchup look kind of crazy right now. DK just avoiding everything, getting all the hits in where he can. And I like the spacing coming out from Nico. Oh, what? but you got to watch those platforms. That's right. You get those <gasps> ding dong yeah. percents. And well, apparently Shine knows them already. Right. It's, it's very interesting to see something like that come out in Smash Ultimate. Oh, okay, I like how he went up high, possibly looking to go for a spike or something like that if Nico had come off stage versus him. Mm -hmm. Throwing out an empty hop, forcing Shine to use the second jump, and now Shine having a little bit of difficulty just staying on the stage. Oh, but a big wind-up punch! Yeah, you can see, uh, okay, nice up tilt right there, just gonna close that out. But yeah, it did look like uh, Nico did not know what option Shine was gonna go for there, and he just jumps on aggressive with the super punch. Yeah, smart, because it does have the armor, so even if she, uh, Shine... Uh, was going to get ledge trapped by the back airs or the nairs that Nico's really been throwing out a lot of. Uh, he would have just went right through it. Right. And uh, yeah, the only just a little bit of flinch from that gun, so he's just going to be able to easily up tilt out of that. Okay, another nair, and we see both players just fishing for their one option. F tilt does connect, and oh, trying to get those, the tech chase, but doesn't find it. Up throw to up air. Ooh, and he really wants to get that yoink back into that to continue the combo, but that ding dong going to happen through the platform once again. Yeah. <laughs> You should, like, never take DK to uh, <laughs> Pokemon Stadium 2. Apparently not. Especially one like Shine who is completely aware of uh, percentages and what oh, he needs to do to get what he wants. Definitely. He knows the windows where he needs to stand around the platform. And on Pokemon Stadium 2, outside of, like, a few positions, mm -hmm. you can actually just, like, single hop to a platform. Right. So... It's a great stage for DK. I would never take it. Well, okay, that's Town City. All right. I'll tell you pick Pokemon <laughs> Stadium again. <laughs> hey, man, he, he clearly feels like, you know, just ha had a couple of unfortunate spots, and if he can change things up a little bit, he can win there for free. Definitely. I mean, it was really close. It definitely was close, yeah. Nico was not out of it by any means. Okay, going to Battlefield. Much better stage. Um, I mean, the ceilings are going to be a little bit higher. Right. Uh, the platforms aren't going to be as extensive yeah as long as he doesn't get grabbed on that top one he should be a-okay all right so game two here we go and of course sticking on Dick, uh, diddy kong and <laughs> joker ahem yeah let's see how uh, nico's able to just adjust to uh shine's dk yeah great dash tech to start off in a rising nair he, he i do like the way that shine moves it just seems like he it doesn't move with uh he moves always with purpose he knows where nico's gonna be and he puts his punishes right in that spot mm-hmm not allowing that Yoink to ever happen either. <laughs> okay, well, we see the up throw into a single up air and the up B. Yeah, that Yoink not coming in. Yeah, I, I do like the avoidance from him for on that. And an airy, airy dodge towards the ground, trying to get away from Joker there. 
Oh, but he doesn't have a second jump, and Nico not able to capitalize off that. Ooh, it's the stomp into the re -grab. Oh, no, this could be a bad situation. Oh, okay. wait, Nico okay. even threw out the counter, so yeah. that actually worked out better in Chine's favor. Yeah, that, that was brilliant on his part, though, because he definitely doesn't want to get hit by the ding-dong, so if you're going to use the counter, man, that'll protect you. Ooh, Ooh. shoot him up. All right, trapped on the ledge here. Got to watch out for the forward air. Going to get connected, and how's he getting back to stage? Okay. Yeah, yeah of course he does get clipped on the way back, but right. that is giving him invincibility and able to land exactly. right back on that ledge. Oh! He lost his persona there, but he was able to make it back to the, the, the tether. Very, very interesting. Right, he's going to forward throw him off and go for another back air. Unfortunately, not timing it this time, and <laughs> both of them going to lose their stocks there. <laughs> yeah, he re grabbed the ledge, so of course going to get clipped by that up B from DK. That only happened because Shine actually drifted back to avoid the back air, <laughs> but it like didn't allow him to actually recover. Oh, well, we finally got the yoink and able to extend the combo to 54% off of these platforms. Good stuff, but now it's uh, Shine's turn. All right, dash Ooh. back into back air, and now Arsene is back. You see up throw into up air. We're not getting the drag down up air. Uh, Nico is just often like finishing off and then trying to follow up a shark. And you can see him every single time he is underneath the platform trying to go for that re uh, up air combo because a lot of people have been making that look like an infinite man. Woo! Yeah, and there's that strong down air from Joker when he has Arson out. Yeah, that, that looked pretty gross. Downward block coming in too, just to get that quick 7%. Couple back airs into. Ooh, he waited too to try to get that, but up. Uh, what? <laughs> uh, should be able to make it back. Oh, unless no, you sir. get your. Oh, we got red. That's great awareness, yeah, because you know people who have a tether recovery are going to swing there. So if you just position yourself exactly where they're going to be sliding, like, that's easy. Mm -hmm. Great just punish. More knowledge coming out from Shine. And we see the drag down up air to a re-grab. Those are the combos I want to see from Joker. I want right. to see those, like, 80% combos. Oh, and he snatched him up again. This man, oh, he, he didn't tech or anything, so I thought Joker was actually going to catch a punish, but unfortunately unable to time something. Yeah, but fishing for these back airs and even getting an Eha. Ooh. Uh, okay, expected him to go to the left, I suppose, to try to get a four tilt uh, punish for it, but unable to. And now Nico trying to fire back here, or Shine trying to fire back. Yeah, okay, but Shine getting grabbed and getting up thrown at the same time. Oh, we see a down tilt, but now Arsene is out. That means that Nico is going to have much more kill power. Oh, we tried to hop onto that platform to extend some kind of combo there, but oh, oh my goodness. This man moving crazy. If he can get off the ledge. Oh, don't get back to him. No, okay, the back air connects. DK Nico. is huge, man. He <laughs> rolled past him, but it's still connected with the back air. <laughs> All right, great windscreen right there. Love that. I love that MSM has the small screen where you can still see the victory because most like majors and tournaments, you don't see the victory screens anymore. Fortunate. I know. That's just like hard work that some animator did. Yeah. And <laughs> it's just going underappreciated. Yeah, man, but not today. Not at MSM. <laughs> All right, so game three situation coming out. And, of course, sticking characters again. What yeah. stage did they... I think they ran it back. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, okay. So we're going to be on Smashville this time around. Oh, and starting off with a strong dash attack. Running right into it. Yeah, and I do like this pick from uh, DK to have those closer side blast zones and the one platform so he can, of course, extend his uh, combos that we've seen him do perfectly. That's right. And now, like, he's just... With the platform being so wide, he's going to have a much wider range to just get onto that platform and extend right. his ding-dongs. Ooh. And that as well, he's going to just throw him right above it and go for a, ju a jumping aerial, knowing he can confirm that. Okay. Trapping with Nairs, and now we see a back air. Oh, he was expecting the recovery. Oh my goodness, I'm surprised he didn't go for the forward smash. Seeing how many times that uh, Shine goes for the air dodge afterwards, definitely could have got a stronger punish. Mm -hmm. Never mind, <laughs> he's going to clear it out right there. And just like all the kill power that Joker has when Arsene's out, it's just insane. You have to really watch the back airs along with like all the smash attacks. Exactly. We see double up air and only getting one. But now we see up throw into up air. And that kills once again because he jumped off of the platform. Yeah, no death sparks needed. Yeah, just a scary situation to be in, man. All right, so... Okay, working around the middle of the stage right now. Trying to get that down tilt into the dash attack. Didn't need it. Got it. And Ooh. double back air. Almost a third. Oh! And that's so unfortunate for Nico. He got arson when he was trying to recover, which eliminates his tether grab. Oh, okay. I I'm surprised because isn't arson, doesn't that make him invulnerable on it, his upbeat? At start up. Ah, <laughs> oh, okay. Not throughout the entire thing. So unfortunate spot for Joker to be in. Double back air. Oh, I thought he was going to up B and just, you know, suicide KO that man. Well, it's not over <laughs> yet. He's still living, boy. Oh, we went all the way out. <laughs> but Arsene gonna allow Nico to make it back. Oh, let's oh, get oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Okay, and almost getting that down air as well. Nico went from zero to like 118. 
All right, but it's his turn to get this edge guard opportunity. Should be able to. Oh, Arson abandoned him at the worst <laughs> opportunity. That was the worst moment, Arson. Where are you going? Oh no, no, no! He was like, I don't, I don't want nothing to do with this. All right, <laughs> no, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Oh, that's actually that's. Actually